Hey guys, this is Chris Glaggle, Glaggle Outdoors. Me and Donnie's in the tree stand. We're waiting on these hogs to come out. Stay tuned. Maybe we'll have something to show you. Step by.
trying to load his gun up again. It's very dark out here. He just shot a big one. We've got uh, we've got a problem with pigs over here. These pigs have been tearing up everybody's hunting areas. So we've been trapping them. Um, Chris and I have been working non-stop. Today's the first day we were able to get off to come out here. We think they're coming back. Alright, stand by for just a second. Hey guys, um, Chris just got a big one. We're gonna go over there now. We've let it sit for a while. Wild hog is what we're hunting. Um, they got a big one, but uh, we're gonna go over there and bring you guys along with us and see what we're doing. We have not left our shooting house yet since he pulled the trigger, uh, but that's what we're doing now. And so here in a minute, we'll show you uh, one of Florida's most destructive critters, wild pig, and it's a big one, so stand by. All right, uh, this is what Chris uh, harvested that pig with. This is a smokeless muzzleloader. It is a custom rifle. It is black powder. Um, it uses smokeless powder, but it is a muzzleloader. Uh, he just got it recently, had it made. Beautiful firearm, and it is 45 caliber. And he's shooting almost 3,000 feet per second with a 275 grain bullet. And we're fixing to show you what that thing right there is capable of. And it's extremely accurate. Um, you can hit 300 yards without having to move your scope up or, up or down on the animal. It is just it's scary, the accuracy and, and the range of these. But we're fixing to go out. We're going to show you what what it does when it hits the world's most powerful animal. We're in the shooting house. It's a little drop down there. We've got to be careful. It's an old shooting house. So we let Chris go down first so I don't, we don't overload the stairs. Yeah, I don't know how well the shot came out on camera. I mounted, uh, we're doing this, we're filming this with the phone. And so I mounted it in a way that we could, uh, we could get the shot on camera. And it's pretty good distance. Uh, there's where we were at right there, if you guys can see it. That's a little difficult, but oh, there we go. Yep, there's our shooting house right there. He was on the right side, I was on the left side. Um, I'm filming this hunt. We haven't been able to go much because uh, Chris is doing remodeling on our houses, repairs that we have to do for insurance. And I'm helping him. But we haven't taken any time off. And finally we just, we, had, we needed a break. All this right here is from the pigs. This is a pig trail that we're on right now. There's the blood. He was up there. Now guys, this is gonna be graphic for those of you that have a weak stomach. We're not, we're gonna try not to show the bad parts, but to give you an idea, um, that's what these bullets do. They are, this is a muzzle loader. And I Look think at the blood mean, everywhere. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, these are incredible. Look at it. All over that bush, too. 
see it. Yep. Lord, how this is all marsh. Let me see if I can get this thing up a little brighter. There we go. You guys can see the blood on here. And this was, uh, I know a lot of people are going to be upset. We do not kill these pigs to kill them. We kill them for meat. We do eat what we shoot. But this was a, um, a heart shot. This pig is running on nerves, but we still have to be extremely careful. They are very dangerous, uh, deadly animals. Look at that tree down there. Good Lord. Lord, here we the, go. Go around right here. There's the trails right there. Right behind that little bog to your left. You don't walk to the middle of that. Guys, this is our lease is um, is what you see. It is swamp. And it is so overloaded with pigs. The other guys that are in here hunting with us, the, the pigs are destroying. Um, they're shooting houses, they're feeders. What is Donnie? Yeah, buddy. There's blood right here. Yeah, I'm all up in there. Oh, is it? Yeah, we're trying to see where the pig went. This pig would be running on nerves only. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, that's what we're following. It's all over here too, Chris. Yeah, right here. There she is, or he is right there. Yeah. There we go. Let me see if I can zoom in. You guys can see there's the pig right there. Got to make sure that he or she is expired. Why is there blood all out here for you? Probably where she was running around in circles. <clears throat> Trying to find somewhere to lay down. What'd you, you think take? I hit too? <laughs> I don't think so. Because it comes in right here. Right there. I mean, I guess it's possible. Let's look around a little bit. We'll look right up in there, right past her. Or him. Whatever it is. I mean, the blood goes right here. All right, that pig, this is definitely from that pig. That's a good pig right there. Well, there ain't no blood in here. Let me see. We're looking because it may have went through one pig. We got a second one. Just looking around. We're, we're going to get the pig out in a minute so you guys can see it. We try to do it in a way that doesn't um, disgrace the animal. You know, the Lord's been good enough to us to allow us to make a harvest. And we just want to make sure that we're treating these animals good. Nope, not yet. I'm pretty sure it was probably just the one. He aimed at one pig and he made sure there was not another one behind it. With a high power rifle, you can shoot two, sometimes three, if you line them up. But we're not out here to to just wipe them out. We're just trying to thin them. 
And so we have to be very selective. We're just checking to make sure there's there was only one hit. We got a, a trail right here. I don't see any blood. There was no pigs behind behind that one. This is where they went right there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, there's there's no more. It's just that one. Good deal. Yeah. And he come up in through here. Sure did, but she, <clears throat> she he, whatever it was. I guess it went, yeah, it must have went right in there and then turned around and tried to come back. Yeah. Guys, we're gonna get it drug out and set it up in a way that we're not showing um, the wound. We don't want to disrespect the animals. That brings um, a bunch of bad stuff upon you when you do that. So stand by. All right, guys, we got the we got the hog. There he is, Chris Shore. He got him perfect shot. We covered the. If you see the leaf on the shoulder, that's just for respect to the animal. We're not wanting to show the wound channel. Uh, a lot of people do that. That's not something that we do. We honor these animals, and the Lord will always bless us with more. That's a fine pig, folks. That's <clears throat> it's a female, and I just want to show you the teeth on it. Can you peel the lip back a little bit? With well, that right there will eat you alive if you ever get tied up with one of these things they are bad news and they'll wear a dog out in a bad way this pig we've there's a group of five and we've been monitoring them uh plotting them out now for the better part of five months and there's one more in this group that we're going to remove and then we got several other groups that have a lot of boars in them they're almost all boars and we're trying to target uh, the boars completely. We gotta get them down. There's, for every five females, there's 25 boars out here. And they are just, I mean, you can see the destruction out here. I know it's hard to see in the phone, but they've just torn up everything. The trees, that's from the pigs. They got the bottoms cut up on them. But another good one. Claghorn Outdoors, done it again. Good job, brother. Now for the task of getting this big thing back to the truck. This pig's uh, pushing 160, 170. Very solid, very heavy. It took two of us just to, to get her pulled out and turned like this. Hope you guys have a good night. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you, Chris, for allowing me to jump over here and do this with you. And hopefully we'll get to pull this off again sometime. Anytime, Donnie. It's a pleasure to have you. And it's been a blast. It's your turn next. I'm ready. <laughs> y'all have a good night. Thank you all for being a part of Claghorn Outdoors. And sure appreciate you guys allowing me to come over here and uh, join Chris with this. It's been a good time and well-deserved. We'll see you guys soon.